Did you know that Canva is an official Facebook marketing partner? That means that all our Facebook ads, Instagram story ad templates are designed with optimal performance in mind. Here are a couple of tips to keep in mind while designing your ad creatives. Number one, make sure you add movement to your designs as campaigns that add motion video to static images convert better. Number two, use the nine by 16 aspect ratio and make sure to optimize your content for this format as this is what people prefer and will engage with most in their newsfeed. And number three, if you are going to use video in your ads, make sure you add captions as this will keep your viewers engaged. Now let's get back to Canva and start creating beautiful ads. So once again, I will be starting from the home screen. And in this case, I'm going to search in the search bar right here for a very generic term. I'm going to search for ad, okay, to see what Canva has in store for me. So I see here, I'm going to tap on done, uh, a couple of different ads, Facebook ads, story ad, Twitter ad, Facebook app ad. So a bunch of different things. I'm going to go for the classic, you know, the Facebook ad. So tapping on this and now Canva is showing me a bunch of different templates that have been optimized for Facebook ads. So I believe I'd like to continue my idea of the black box, you know, this hamper and box delivery with fresh meals, fresh ingredients that I can use to cook my meals at home. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one template because it is the same idea, delivering fresh and healthy meals. Uh, and it's also a video template. So as we've seen earlier in the tips and tricks part of this video, if you add motion to your video, it will convert more. It will get people attention in their newsfeed and therefore you should be using video in your template. And this little icon right here indicates that there is some sort of movement in this template. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this one. All right. So we see there are a couple of things going on here. I can see there is a song, a ukulele song. I'm not sure I want to keep that. But then there is also two little animations here. They are subtle, but they add this slight motion to my design that kind of gets my attention, like there's something moving. And this will for sure help me convert more on Facebook. So I like this. I'm not going to change any of these animations. I'm not going to change uh, the photo either, because I think this represents the black box pretty well, this salad here with the croutons. The text delivering fresh and healthy eats. I'm just going to change eats for meals. OK, so just typing in meals. And again, you can customize the templates as much as you want. Uh, this is really your choice, your business. But for me, this is working. OK, next thing is that the color orange doesn't really fit with my brand. So I'm going to add my own color for this. I will make sure I am tapping on the background. This should call all these other options right here. And now I see this color button and by tapping on it. I can access my brand kit the traditional pink color now that I have been using in some of my communication is going to be perfect for this ad because this pink, bright pink is going to get people's attention. It's going to stand out on Facebook with all this blue from the Facebook UI and all the white. This pink is going to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now, the last thing I need to do here is to change this logo. So you remember we had a little bit of a logo for our black box business and hamper delivering. So I'm going to recreate this logo. Of course, at this stage, you don't have to recreate a logo from scratch. If you happen to have a file of your logo, most businesses, of course, do have a PNG or an SVG file of their logo. So if you do have that file uh, and it's easy for you to access, just go ahead and type on the plus button right here then go to your uploads and simply upload your files. Uh, but for me, uh, as I don't have my file here handy, I'm just going to recreate the logo from scratch. Uh, and it's not a very complicated logo, so it's, it's quite easy to recreate. So for this, I'm going to first tap on this box right here with the bright and barefoot logo. And I can see that these elements are actually grouped together. So I will start by ungrouping them by using the ungroup button. So I'm going to tap on that. Next, I will just simply start selecting the elements. So I have the text box right here and I want to change the font for my brand font. So I will find the font button right here in my, in my menu. 
and I'm going to search for my phone, which is called Hammersmith One. So for this, uh, I'm going to actually type in the name of the font, Hammersmith. So selecting it, I have the little check mark here, and I'm already done. So I just tap on the done button right here. Okay, so now my font has changed. I just need to adjust my text, right, to say black box. Okay, I have black box. The last thing I need to do is to make sure this is the right size. This seems like a reasonable size. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. But I'm going to change the color of this text to black. All right, so I'm going to just simply apply my black color. All right, I have the first part of my logo. Now the second part. Uh, I'm going to delete this uh, other icon because I don't need that. So selecting it, just delete. And I'm going to recreate the logo very quickly. So for that, using the plus button, I need a circle, which is going to be under elements. And this is a shape. So I have a shape right here. But also I could uh, scroll down, find the shapes and just use the plain circle. Of course, it's going to be too big. So I'm going to find the right size, make it. This is still a bit too big. So adjusting the size of this circle and adjusting also to the right position. This looks good. I'm going to zoom in on this design so I see what I'm doing up here. OK, so this needs to be black, of course. So tapping on the color button, applying my black and done. Perfect. Now, the last thing I need to complete this logo is the little icon. So for this, I'm going to go back to my elements using the plus button elements and search for spoon and fork icon. And Canva is going to present me a bunch of options. But if you remember correctly, it was the first one right here. So tapping on this, making this smaller, of course, and I'm going to move it to see approximately the size. This looks good, but this needs to be white. So again, changing the color to white. OK, let's see how this looks. And now I have my black box logo recreated. All I have to do to finish this project is to change the music. I'm not a huge fan of ukulele. Uh, so for this, I'm going to tap on that song. I'm going to delete it and add another song by tapping on the plus button. Remember, when you see this plus button, know that there is some goodness behind it. So just tap on it. OK, so this will bring the list of all the ingredients you can upload or you can insert into your designs. And here I'm looking for music. So tapping on music and I'm going to use this song Backyard, which is a hip hop song. What Canva is going to do is to select the duration of this ad right here. So if you don't know how long it lasts, you can always tap on it. And you can see this little timer right here. It's 5.4 seconds. So the duration of the music is going to be 5.4 seconds. If you want it to be longer, just tap on this timer and you can adjust the length of this ad. So if you want this ad to be eight seconds, just make it eight seconds, tap on done and voila, it's now eight seconds. Still, we need to adjust this music. So go, let's go back to my backyard button right here, which is my music track. And now Canva has selected eight seconds of that track and made this in this colorful gradient that you see here that kind of uh, represents these eight seconds. And the beauty of it is that I don't have to use the beginning of the song. I can select any part of the song that I want. And what I will do, what I like to do when I use video and music, is to go towards the end of the track because then it has a natural fading. So I'm going to use the end of this track and I'm good. So I'm going to tap outside of this design. And now my Facebook ad is ready to go. The only problem is that I'm still having this second page here that I imported. So I'm going to make sure I delete this page by tapping on the little icon right here that represents the two pages of my design, making sure page two is selected and tap on this trash icon. Now it's gone. And I still have my music here. Perfect. Everything looks good and ready to download. So what I will do next is hit the publish button. And I can download the video or I can upload it directly into one of these social media. But because I want to make it as an ad, I will probably need to download it and then upload that uh, in the proper channel via the proper Facebook ad manager. 
So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you in this video. In the next one, we are going to talk about how you can use Canva and your phone to manage your e-commerce. Pro tip guys, ads where your brand is shown within the first few seconds perform best.